The New Indian Express, 31st of July 2022. According to reports, China uses international organizations like Interpol for its purposes. China has been criticized for improperly exploiting the Red Notice System RNS, of the International Criminal Police Organization Interpol, as part of its repatriation policy. China has been systematic in reshaping international institutions to serve its objectives. Since 2016, China has been influencing Interpol, and experts claim that the nation is utilizing its economic clout to increase its influence in geopolitics. Following the Chinese Vice Minister of Public Security, Meng Huangwei's election to run Interpol, China has assumed a significant role in the organization. The publication claimed that Meng's position raised concerns that China would utilize the group to track down dissidents abroad. Critics have accused the nation of exploiting Interpol's Red Notice System RNS. A red notice is an order to law enforcement agencies worldwide to find and temporarily detain a suspect pending extradition, surrender, or other legal action. All international bank accounts are frozen, and travel restrictions are tightened for the targeted individuals as part of China's repatriation effort, according to RNS. Amnesty International investigations exposed both within and outside the internment camps human rights abuses carried out by the Chinese authorities in Xinjiang between 2017 and 2021. Amnesty International supported their accusations that the Chinese government had imprisoned, tortured, and persecuted members of the Tibetan, Uyghur, Kazakh, and other Muslim ethnic minorities with factual facts. Over a million Uyghur Muslims have reportedly been imprisoned by the Chinese government in re-education centers in Xinjiang since 2016. Enforcing adherence to the Chinese Communist Party's doctrine was the primary goal of these re-education centers. Chinese authorities have been charged with torturing people, enforcing forced labor, and severing children from imprisoned parents. China issued up to 100 red notices under Operation Skynet in 2015 for the alleged economic fugitives, 51 of which have been returned. Under intense pressure and constant Chinese threats, 35 out of 51 alleged criminals were voluntarily repatriated to China. At the same time, other targeted persons even went home due to intimidation from their families. Notably, since the Uyghur activist ran the prospect of being extradited to the nation, 45 human rights organizations have called for his release. It said that 34-year-old computer engineer and Uyghur campaigner Yedder S. E. Aishin spent the previous year in the captivity of Moroccan authorities. Aishin belonged to a terrorist group, so the nation asked Interpol to issue a red notice against him. On the night of July 19-20, 2021, at the Casablanca airport, he arrived from Turkey and was immediately detained by Moroccan officials. The organization reviewed and decided to revoke the red notice for Aishin after receiving complaints that it was being used to send dissidents back to China.